and welcome to Chasing the Herd. I'm Abby Loring. And I'm Jonathan Bentley. We are here reporting at the tailgating party where we have a game shortly at 2 p.m. against Southwestern Oklahoma. We've got pony rides going on behind us, and we also have barbecue cooking, and the clubs have each set up their own tent to celebrate the big game today. And there have been more than 50 events scheduled for this weekend, including reunions, tours, dedications, everything going on on this campus. And at least 14 of these events are sports related, starting with volleyball and soccer, which began Thursday night. We will have all of these events covered for you on this week's show. And one of those very special events is the Walk of Brothers. Absolutely. I got a chance to talk with some of the older players and the newer players and really get to experience the camaraderie firsthand of what they call the brotherhood. The Walker Brothers is really special. It's something we get to do every game, every game day, um, especially this week. You know, we got all the old Bisons back here uh, for homecoming, and you know, it's really, it's really cool seeing seeing the brotherhood that Harding football is. Um, we got guys that played, you know, 30 years ago, but you know, they come in here, and, and we're all a brotherhood. We're all, we're all together, and it's just, it's a great time getting to see those guys. It's really special, and it's an honor and a privilege to get to put on this jersey and uh, play for the Bisons, and you know, get to know these guys that. That played and set the set the stage for us a long time ago. The thing for me is seeing the kids that I that I coached and and also seeing all these guys I played with. Um, you know, we were on the '59 team that started, and uh, there's there's just a there's such a bond that people get, the athletes get that there's no way to describe. The only other, you know, it's it's kind of like they do in the military. There's a bond. You know, where everybody's got you back. You may not like them. But you trust them, and you know they've got you back. So anyway, it's just uh, it's exciting to be back at Hardy. Nothing, nothing like. Okay. One of the traditions here at Homecoming is the famous Walker Brothers, where the team gathers in Keller Hall and they walk as a team through the tailgating area to the stadium. Friends and family are out here gathered, hoping to spot their favorite player as they walk to the stadium. advice I say is get fun, have fun and love, get to love your brothers you with. And that's big. The Harding football team had a chance to clinch at least a share of the GAC regular season title against Southwestern Oklahoma State. The Herd's Jake Acree has a recap from the homecoming game and also a few comments from Coach Huckabee. With just under four and a half minutes to play in the first quarter, Park Parrish began the scoring for Harding with a three-yard rush, followed by a PAT by Tristan Parsley, which put the Bisons up 7-0. However, this 7-0 lead was short-lived when Southwestern Oklahoma State completed a 55-yard pass into the end zone with a PAT to tie the game at 7. The very next play after Southwestern's kickoff, Zach Shelley rushed the ball for 66 yards into the end zone to put Harding up 14-7. Harding continued their scoring in the second half with 12 minutes left to play with a two-yard rush from Michael Latou to put the Bisons up by 14 points. The Bisons' defense came out strong today as well, as you see a big fourth down stop here by the Bisons. However, Southwestern Oklahoma State found a way to force Harding to a punt, drive down the field, and score on a one-yard rush to close in the deficit to 13-21. To Two minutes later, Harding forced an interception, and Daylon Markham returned the ball for 32 yards to get Harding in a good scoring position. Two plays later, Dwayne Carter had a four-yard run into the end zone to put the Bisons up by a score of 28-13. Harding came out after halftime strong with a big 58-yard run on the second play of the half by Zach Shelley to put the Bisons up by a score of 35 to 13. With eight and a half minutes left in the third quarter, Southwestern Oklahoma State connected for a 46 yard touchdown pass. However, with a missed PAT, the score stood at 20 to 35. Harding's defense showed strong here on this second down play with an incomplete pass that looked to be an interception. However, the refs ruled it to be incomplete, which led to a punt by Southwestern Oklahoma State to end the third quarter. Harding's next drive resulted in a punt, which led to a seven-yard rush for Southwestern Oklahoma State for a touchdown that inched them closer with a 27-35 deficit. In Harding's next possession, they drove down the field, and it was capped off by a 23-yard rush by Park Parrish to 
put the score 42 to 27. You really were able to hold them on third down most of the game. What do you attribute that to? Uh, I mean, just practice. Yeah. You know, I mean, every day, I mean, nothing changed. The game plan didn't change from this game to the last game. You know, every day we practice domination. You know, every game we want to dominate and continue to create turnover. So, I mean, nothing changed from this game to that game. Uh, really, my O line and my slot backs, my blocking slot back, did all the work. Yeah. You know, as I've said before, you know, when I get a ball, I have the easiest job, and that's just run open space. Yeah. And the other guys just create the open space, which is extremely hard. So, you know, I just have the easiest job when I get the ball in my hand. The critical thing becomes with, with that kind of a, a game is that you don't turn the ball over. Mm -hmm. You know, we had one critical turnover that was, you know, was not good. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, uh, Probably the way we took care of the football, we did get some turnovers from them. One of them we converted to a touchdown in the you know in the second quarter, and that was ended up being a critical score for us. We have a share of the conference championship. Pretty selfish. I don't want to share by it with y'all. No, 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 sir. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Chasing the herd, this is JK. A really special get together took place after this football game. Players from the 1976 Bison football team that were a part of a championship held a reunion. Coach Huckabee was on that team 40 years ago. It was a time of old friends and teammates catching up with some of the old memories they made that championship season. You, you really don't understand how special it is until you get together like this. The bond that you have through playing sports is, it's a lifetime. We haven't, there's some of these guys we haven't seen in uh, 40 years. You know, so just the memories, seeing each other, the affection we have for each other, I mean, it's priceless, you know, when you get to this point. Well, this is a place where a bunch of boys came together and because the coaches we had and the atmosphere they created, I think this is where we became men, at least began our manhood, and to look at all the things we gained here together, and honestly it was based on our coaching staff, Coach Brock and the rest of the coaches, producing a team that was like a family, that had love, and then also sacrifice, and that love-sacrifice kind of mixture has carried us on to where we are today, so coming back, some of these guys I see all the time, some of them I hadn't seen since we left. It's, it's just uh, very touching deep inside to be able to come back and reconnect with them. It's, it's really just a great reunion to get to see these guys. A lot of these guys I haven't seen for a long time. And it's, uh, you know, we, we, were, we were a close bunch and, uh, and really enjoyed our time together. So it's just been great to sit out here and, and visit with everybody. And, and uh, some of the guys were a little younger than me. And there's a few guys here a little older than me. And so I... I uh, trying to figure out who everybody was and everything's been a little bit of a challenge, but but so many of them are just you know you recognize them immediately and there's a bond there that was there 40 years ago and a few years before that and it's still there you know as soon as you see them it's a, a really good feeling. 